Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the San Diego Comic Con 2018 exclusive Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. That is right, my friends. We are on the verge of the release of the brand new Rise of the TMNT action figures from the folks at Playmates Toys. The regular retail line is supposed to be hitting stores at the very beginning of October, probably coming out a little bit before that, but to kind of get everybody ready for it, they released a set of four exclusive figures. All four turtles got their very own boxed version of the figures. Now the figures themselves are supposed to be exactly the same as the ones that are gonna be in retail, except they probably have more paint deco than the final figures will have. So we're gonna go ahead and check these out. It's gonna give us an opportunity to have our first hands-on look at these figures. Plus, these are some pretty sweet boxes. So first of all, check those out. We got these really nice slip covers over all of these boxes. And you can see that the slip covers here actually have the logo on it. And you got this really cool kind of burst with this new kind of turtle shell looking emblem right there on the actual uh, box itself. And this is all like kind of embossed and printed on. It's very nice looking. It's very, very fancy packaging. In fact, there's also a really nice Velcro flap on the front. And when you open that up, you've got some really nice artwork there. It's very bright, very colorful. And over on the right side, you've got your turtle with the name printed on the front of the box there. You can see the accessories within. It's a really nice presentation. So these look really, really slick. And if anybody picked these up and is planning on keeping them mint in box, I totally understand that. But you know we're gonna open these up for this video because we gotta check out the figures inside. So there's Leo. Uh, let's go ahead and just pull all these out because I want to show you guys what they all look like in the packages here. Open up that Velcro. There's our Raphael. You can see the artwork's the same on all of them, but the boxes are different because they have the different names and stuff. And look, the, the weapons, they got stats here. Look, the species, so he's a snapping turtle. The weapon is the Tanfas. So there we go, we got Raph over there. Let's open up this one back here and see who we've got. This one is Mikey. The species is a box turtle, and his weapon is the Kusari Fundo. I think I said that right. <laughs> and then, lastly, we got this one more box back here. So this should be our Donatello. There he is. There's Donnie. Uh, I really do love the colors on these. The boxes are really nice. So he is a soft shell turtle. He's got the Techno Staff. I didn't even look at that on Leo, so let's bring him back up here. He is a red-eared slider, which is why he's got the red markings on his face. Uh, and he's got the Odachi sword. That's his sword this time around. So, these are our San Diego exclusive turtles in the boxes, but it is time to rip these open so we can get a good look at the figures within. All right, so we got those turtles ripped out of those boxes. Let's take a closer look at them. So let's start by talking about the scale of these guys because we got all four of them lined up. And as you can see, the sizes are different, which is pretty cool. That's right in line with what we've seen with the last line of turtles as well. Um, in the new series, uh, of course, Raphael is massive. I mean, he like towers over everybody else. And while he's not quite as big in action figure form as he probably should be, he is still the bigger and chunkier of the four turtles. Uh, and Mikey is the smallest as he should be. So you can see Mikey there is about four and a quarter inches tall. Raph goes up to about a full five inches in scale. And the others kind of follow suit. Leo and Donnie are about the same height with uh, the little goggles that are on Donnie's head there kind of making him just a little bit taller. Uh, the plastic on these guys feels right on par with what we were seeing with the last line of Ninja Turtles figures from Playmates Toys. So if you picked any of those up, you know what to expect there. They actually feel pretty solid. I think the plastic feels really good on these guys. And I will say they are bright and colorful. Now, uh, since these are the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive versions, they have a lot more paint deco, probably much more than we are going to see on the retail releases. And I don't know exactly what is going to be cut off, um, but, you know, I can probably hazard to guess that we're going to see things like the blue disappearing off on these stripes here on Leo. Maybe even the uh, wraps on his feet. I don't know. Um, you can see he's got these nice stripes on his arms. 
Even the shell is a two-tone paint deco. Most likely the final release in stores is going to be lacking a lot of these extra paint details. Uh, the green on the belt, uh, the little shell on the belt. I don't know, that might be something that's missing as well. Hopefully not the red stripes on his face because that fits with his character. Uh, you can see lots of great paint deco on Donnie here too. It looks like this is like supposed to be like a blue screen on his wrist. So that's painted there. Lots of purples, greens. You can see again, he's got cool little markings. I like the way they kind of paint the markings on themselves. That is really cool. Here's another really fun thing with Donatello. He's a soft shell turtle. You can actually remove this little armor piece that he has over his shell. So look at that. That uh, kind of shows his smaller shell, his normal natural shell. So that's one thing in this series is he wears this armor since he's a soft shell turtle that kind of protects his armor. And I think it's really cool that it's removable on the toy. So it just kind of clips on there. That is a pretty neat little feature. The goggles are sculpted on. You can see that we got blue and red lenses up there. That's another paint deco that I uh, imagine is probably going to be missing on the final retail version. I actually really like the look of Donnie. I, I kind of feel like he might be my favorite of the batch of these new ones. It just looks really cool in action figure form. Uh, Michelangelo there has got all this cool paint on him because that's one of the things he's like graffitis his own shell and everything. So I love these colorful paint decos on his shoulders, on the front of his shell there, on the back. That's all painted. Very cool looking as well. You can see that's pretty neat. Um, I, again, these might be paint details that are missing on the final version. I am not entirely sure. I also love how he's got like these little faces on his knee pads. He's got like a sad face with X's for eyes. He's got like a happy face over here. And it's a pretty fun look. And then Raphael, I actually did take a look at a Raphael not too long ago. This does seem to be painted exactly the same way as the version that was given out as a prize for folks uh, on the Ninja Turtle social media pages. So pretty cool stuff. They are nicely painted. Uh, they're really cool, very solid looking figures. And you know, I know that the designs of the turtles are one of those things that are highly debated right now. The looks of the turtles in the new series. Uh, but putting that aside, you know, feelings on how they look in the series aside, I honestly feel like that these designs translate pretty well into action figures because these are very fun designs and they're very bright and very colorful. So I think that is pretty cool. Now, one of the neat things here is that these do feature some articulation that's a bit different than what we've seen in the past. All of the articulation is the same on all of these guys. So the head is ball jointed. You can see the heads roll all the way around, look left, look right. You got those ball like hinge joints at the shoulder so the arms can go forwards, backwards, outwards pretty nicely. And then we've got swivels at the elbow and bends at the elbow as well as swivels at the wrists up here. Nothing in the torso there, but we do have the hinge joints at the thighs, so the legs can go outwards. That means you can swivel them at the thighs as well as move them forwards and backwards. Then we've got swivels at the knees, bends at the knees, and look at this. We've got swivels at the ankles and hinge joints at the ankles. That's one of those things that you don't typically see. And of course, in the last series, they had like the bigger three-toed feet and then the round feet on some of the figures. Uh, these turtles go back to the old school style of just having the longer two-toed feet. Um, so that's probably why we're able to get this extra bit of articulation in the feet. Uh, and it works pretty much exactly the same on all the turtles, even though they're shaped differently. They do all feature that exact same articulation, and the joints are nice and tight on these guys, so they do articulate and pose around pretty well. You're not going to get any crazy dynamic poses out of these guys, but you can still pose them around and get some pretty neat stances out of them, and they balance really well since the joints are nice and tight, so I do appreciate that quite a bit. All right, let's start looking at the accessories for these guys. We're going to go ahead and start things off with Donatello here. So his weapon is the bow staff. So he's one turtle who kept his traditional weapon. He's got a bow staff, though it is a tech bow staff this time around. Um, this is another area where I feel like the weapons that come with these exclusive versions are going to be very different from the retail releases because you can see it's fully painted. We got nice shiny silver on the ends and a nice purple uh, color in the middle here. I imagine that just like every other other turtles line before this, the weapons at retail are going to be solid in color and unpainted. So Donnie can actually hold onto that staff in both of his hands. It's loose in some spots, but where the little wrap is on there, it actually gets a little bit of a tighter grip. And you are able to do the two-handed poses with the bow staff because of the articulation. So that is very nice. Uh, he comes with another really cool accessory. So aside from having that removable armor piece for a shell, he also has the cool little flying pack. So he uses this in the new animated series. You can see there's little clips there. So you can plug that right into the back. I hope I don't have that upside down. I think that's right. But you can see it's done like in a translucent purple plastic. It's very cool. So you can clip that to his back. So that way he can kind of hover around using his technology exactly as Donnie should be. 
Now another thing, all four of these turtles come with the same two little throwing stars. These are painted a nice metallic silver, which is very cool. You'll see this included with all four of the turtles. So Leonardo is interesting because he actually does come with one of his classic katana blades. So this has got just like a flat silver or flat gray there for the blade, but then the handle is painted blue. So he can hold on to that in either one of his hands. It's really interesting that he comes with that because in the new series, he has traded up to this much larger sword. And of course, their weapons are mystical and powers. They're like glow in the series. So that is uh, kind of done by giving it a translucent blue look. And you can see there's also like this weird little flame effect coming off the top of it now it's worth noting he's got this little clip on his back so that actually will hold it's made of kind of like a, a rubbery plastic there so you can see it holds onto his katana just fine the katana stores there pretty good the larger sword doesn't have quite as good of a fit you can kind of make it fit on there it works better up here towards the handle but then you can see it's pretty long so we can get him to hold on to this um, his hands do a pretty decent job of gripping onto it. Not as much as I'd like. You can see it's a little flimsy. Uh, this sword is massive. I kind of wish his articulation would allow him to like hold it over his shoulder a little bit better, kind of the way he poses with it in the show, but he does have this massive new sword. But it is interesting that they still threw in one of his classic katanas as well. All right, Michelangelo has traded in his nunchucks, but these are very similar weapons. Uh, again, the glowy weapons in the series are uh, done by giving translucent orange plastic on these with the chain still being like painted a nice silver. I think the retail releases will be all translucent, so there'll be no painted details. And it's interesting because they're different. This one has like a spinning little blade on it. This one has a punching glove. So I'm guessing they can kind of change shape and everything in the series since they're mystical and powers. And of course the punching glove is silly and wacky as you would expect. Michelangelo to be. Um, his hands are a little too loose. I wish you got a better grip on them. You can find a right way to rest them in there and that way you can pose them around but you can see look how loose that is. He's not holding on to him. So that is definitely one area uh, that these figures all need improvement but Mikey particularly I wish they had a much better grip so they can actually hold on to the weapons proper. If you don't want to use those, he does also have this larger uh, three-pronged uh, weapon there. Um, I always forget the name of this thing, but actually the other Michelangelo in the last Nick series came with this weapon as well, and he can actually get a nice two-handed pose out of this. Now, he's got this one clip on the front of his belt, and that could hold a weapon, but I gotta admit, it looks a little weird because then you just have like this chain with this little floating piece off the front of it there, and you could put the longer one there as well, but again, that just looks a little weird. So it's cool that he's got the clip there, but honestly, it's just not very functional. All right, and that's going to bring us to Raphael. Again, we did take a look at this guy in a standalone video already, so I won't spend too much time on it. He does come with the Tonfas now. That's his new weapon. Uh, interestingly, they're not the glowy ones. It's not like the translucent red, which is what I think the retail version is going to come with. But instead, they're like this brownish color uh, with silver paint. They are very soft and gummy for some reason. These are the only weapons that are made like this. I'm not sure why that is. His hands are posed in a way where they don't hold them quite as good as you'd like them to. I kind of thought he'd have better gripping hands because you want him to hold the tonfas where the bar is like going under his forearms there. So you can kind of pull that pose off, but really just not as good as I'd like it to. He does have nice holsters on his belt, so you can see he can hold the tonfas there, which is really nice. So that's pretty cool that you have that there. All right, guys. It's comparison time. So just for fun, let's go ahead and take a look at the turtle standing alongside the vintage version, the very original turtles, and the most recent Nickelodeon turtles, just because I think that's a really good drastic look uh, evolution from the very first figure, the most recent incarnation, all the way up to this brand new version, just so you can see what these guys look like. And because I always like to do this, how about we get a little bit of more evolution going on there, just showing various versions of the Ninja Turtles in action figure form, all released by Playmates Toys.
So there you go, my friends. That is a look at the brand new San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. If we're looking at these as toys themselves, which is what we should be doing, I honestly think that these are very fun toys. Now, they do have a much more art, art animated look to them, very cartoony compared to some of the other versions that we've seen in the past. But like I said, despite how you might feel about the way the turtles look in the new show, I feel like that does translate pretty well into action figure form. Uh, some of them look better than others. I honestly feel like Michelangelo and Donatello are the best looking in toy form, and I think Donatello might be my favorite one. This might be my first time ever liking Donatello better than the rest of the turtles, just because I think he looks really good. The purple colors pop really well with that darker green, and I love his accessories. That armor on the shell is really cool, and I think it's a lot of fun. The articulation is decent, uh, the hands are posed a little weird, I wish they held onto their weapons a little bit better. So there's definitely downsides, but there's some good positives here as well. Now these were a bit pricey, these were $20 a piece at San Diego Comic Con and you had to go to the show to pick them up, and I don't believe Playmates is going to sell them afterwards, so if you didn't go to the show and you weren't able to pick them up there like I did, unfortunately they're probably going to be a bit harder to get a hold of on the aftermarket. But like I said before, the exact same figures are getting a retail release. Those will be your normal under $10 figures. They're just not going to have as pretty of a paint deco as these do. When those get released, I'll definitely do another video looking at those, and we'll compare them to these to really see how they differentiate. So there you guys go, the brand new Rise of the TMNT action figures. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of these guys, and hey, don't forget to subscribe because there's going to be a whole bunch of new Turtles reviews coming, so stay tuned. Until next time, my friends.